This video will cover the topic, solving an equation of the form log base b of a is equal to c. Let's start off by taking a look at an example. In this example, we are being asked to solve for x in the equation log base 36 of x is equal to 1 half. I don't even know where to start. What's the best way to approach this problem? For logarithmic equations like this, in order to solve for our final answer, we are going to use the following relationship. This relationship states that for any numbers, a, b, and c, with a and c both being positive and a not being equal to 1, log base a of c is equal to b if and only if a raised to b is equal to c. For this problem, we can start off by applying the given relationship to the equation log base 36 of x is equal to 1 half. In this example, our a value is equal to 36, our b value is equal to 1 half, and our c value is equal to x, where x is the value we are attempting to solve for. When rewritten in a to the power of b is equal to c form, this results in the equation 36 raised to the 1 half power is equal to x. This can be further simplified to result in our final answer of x is equal to 6. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. In this example, we are being asked to solve for x in the equation log base x of 100 is equal to 2. This problem differs from the previous problem because here we are being asked to solve for the base of the logarithmic equation, x. Let's start off by applying the relationship we just discussed. In the equation, log base x of 100 is equal to 2, our a value is equal to x, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 100. Let's go ahead and substitute these values into our relationship equation, a to the power of b is equal to c. Doing this results in the equation x squared is equal to 100. Now, let's solve for our variable x. In order to do this, we take the square root of both sides of the equation, which results in both x is equal to 10 and x is equal to negative 10 due to the square root property. But, because of the definition in the logarithmic relationship that states that a and c must both be positive, x can only be equal to 10 and not negative 10. Meaning, our final answer to this problem is x is equal to 10. Let's take a look at one last example. In this example, we are being asked to solve for x. In the equation, log base 8 of x is equal to negative 2. Why don't you go ahead and solve this one? Okay, so we start off by determining our a, b, and c values. In the equation, log base 8 of x is equal to negative 2. Our a value is equal to 8. b is equal to negative 2. And c is equal to x. Now we substitute these values into our relationship equation a raised to the b power equals c. This results in 8 to the negative 2 equals x, which can be further simplified to our final answer of x equals 1 over 64. Great job! You did that perfectly. Okay, I think I get this now. So in order to solve a logarithmic equation, we use the relationship log base a of c is equal to b if and only if a raised to the b power is equal to c, and apply it to the equation given in our problem. Then we assign constants to the respective values of a, b, and c, substitute these values into the a raised to the b power equals c equation, and then solve for the variable? That's a great summary. It really sounds like you now know how to solve an equation of the form log base b of a is equal to c.